Hey guys, welcome back to 1776 or bust. So on the table, as you can see, I have two handguns that I've done a lot of videos on. You have the M&P 2.0 in the four and a quarter inch. And of course, over here, you have the Glock 19X. So this video really is going to show you how both of these shot for me. Um, some of the footage, actually all of the footage that you're going to see here, I actually used before, but I did want to do a comparison after shooting this one so that you guys can make a really good judgment call as to which gun you think actually may work better for you. Now, obviously with the 19X, again, there, this gun is as controversial as any other Glock, I think. And the reason being is because a lot of people, you know, aren't necessarily convinced that this gun was worth making for Glock. Now, to be honest with you, I absolutely love this Glock. I was down on it when it first came out not really truly understanding the whole point of having the long grip with the short slide. And then of course, you know, after shooting it and owning it and carrying it, uh, it is fantastic. It is comfortable to carry. Um, the Glock 17 grip, in my opinion, is much better than the 19 grip. Although it may not make for an ideal concealed carry, um, I still think it works very well. And yes, I do know it was meant for usually service people or uh, law enforcement. However, I don't see why you wouldn't want to carry this. There's plenty of people who carry Glock 17s, have no issues with them. So for me, the 19X works and it feels very natural to shoot and it shoots really well. Now, of course, with the M&P 2.0, again, you guys know that I'm in love with these handguns and they are just fantastic shooting handguns um, from top to bottom, from front to back, just absolute quality. Now, again, you'll notice that I have the Apex triggers on both of these guns and they both run extraordinarily well. They, you know, eat anything you throw at them, whether it's, you know, HST, whether it's, um, you know, brass. I have not shot any aluminum or steel through them, but, you know, I've been able to acquire cheap brass, so why not just shoot that? Again, the M&P, a lot of people will say it's a little bit more ergonomic than the 19X, but even with that, I, I would say it's fairly close. The grip on the 19, or excuse me, on the Smith & Wesson, it just sits a little bit straighter up, and as you can see, it does not have that nasty angle that many people don't like on the Glock. However, the Glock, sitting in the hand without those finger grooves, feels as natural in my hand as any other handgun that I've ever owned, and that actually... Uh, for me, it says a lot because, you know, the 19 that I've, or several 19s that I've owned and have never really felt perfect, but the 17s have. And this to me is just a great addition to use. The M&P 2.0, again, this is no slouch whatsoever. Ergonomically, it's fantastic. It shoots really, really well. You know, I went through 176 rounds with this, enjoyed shooting it, and then whatever I had left over, which was probably, probably 300 rounds or so, I shot through this. The only thing I can tell you that I felt differently on this versus the Glock 19X was after putting about 200 plus rounds through it, this um, steel insert here definitely heated up. And uh, I know my buddy KS Gun Guy mentioned that and I said I was a little skeptical about, about that, but after 200 rounds, I definitely could feel it on my thumb uh, with my support hand. And it wasn't necessarily enjoyable, but at the same time, I mean, if you're, uh, if you're just carrying concealed, if you're shooting 200 rounds, First off, uh, where are you hiding all those, those rounds? But secondly, if you're going through 200 rounds in a concealed carry, um, I think you're in for a world of trouble. But again, that's just me. Again, side picture wise, they're both fantastic. And as you can see, I have the NDZ performance plate in the back there where it says, we the people, hopefully that, there we go, we the people. It's really cool, really like it. It's a great um, you know, um, upgrade in my opinion, cheap too. Now, in regards to side pictures, both side pictures are fantastic. Um, again, the M&P came with the TFX sights, uh, which are very good. I had the Glock Knight sights, and I actually took them off and exchanged them for uh, these sights that you see right here, which, again, are going to be the Ameriglo um, uh, cap sights. So fantastic sights. Done a video on them. You should check that out if you want to. But they're great sights as well. The only issue I had and the reason why I stopped at 176 was just simply I did not use a left not Loctite in the front. And uh, I definitely will be taking this out to the range again just to make sure that it functions uh, the way it should. And again, if it doesn't, I, I have no problem contacting Ameriglow and asking them what the deal is with that. But uh, that's the first time something like that has happened, and I take full responsibility for that. Again, both guns, uh, in my opinion, um, sit well in the hand. Um, I don't think there's one that's easier than the other to carry. You know, they're both fairly long-gripped guns, um, as a matter of fact. Just really quick, um, if you look at the grips and we measure them up, you can see, let me see if I can get this straight for you all. Uh, there we go. It's a little difficult in camera. Ah, 
there we go. You can see that the grip length is, let me just do that one more time, I wanna be fair about this. The grip angle is basically slightly different and you can see that the length is really negligible. Um, so really, the grip you're gonna get with either gun is, is decent in my opinion. And can you conceal it? Yes, you can. Like I said, I've concealed these guns already. And um, you know they do a very good job. I mean, they're comfortable to carry all day long. I don't feel that there's an, an advantage or disadvantage to either one of them. Now, the overall shooting, both shot very well. Uh, I definitely will tell you I shoot the MP better out of the box just because I think there's some added benefits to it with that steel insert. So it shoots a little bit flatter. But, uh, and I definitely have more time behind this than the 19X. And again, I will be shooting this more just to make sure I get more and more proficient with it. Overall, guys, I just want to show you some shooting footage. And then at the end, you guys can judge what you think may work better for you. Again, I'd love to hear your comments. Um, hopefully, if you haven't subscribed, you'll subscribe. If you want to give a thumbs up, give a thumbs up. That's great. But if you hate the video or me or the guns, you can always give a thumbs down as well. So I hope you guys have a great night. Stay safe. Check out the shooting. And uh, as always, freedom is never free. Thank you.